Which microphone is the best for recording? All of them. I'm Tom Camp, founder of Digital Recording School, where artists, producers, and engineers go to learn how to achieve radio-ready recordings. In today's episode, I'm going to talk to you about my four-point microphone system. So my four-point microphone system is simple, and it helps you in choosing the right microphone to help capture your recordings in your tracking environment. The first step to my four-point microphone system is identifying the source. What are you recording? Is it an acoustic guitar, a snare drum, a vocalist, a piano? It is important to think of this first because it will help you in what you choose. You need to understand the varying characteristics of each. A snare drum is significantly louder than an acoustic guitar. Is the acoustic guitar you're recording finger picked softly or played with a pick? What is the source's role in the song? Is the acoustic guitar a supplementary rhythmic instrument in a full rock mix? Or is it the foundation of a ballad? Is your singer male or female? These characteristics are incredibly important to identify. The next step is to consider the environment. Where are you recording? Are you in a big warehouse, a giant drum room, a vocal booth, a closet, or a bedroom? Are you in your garage, your living room, or maybe your tile bathroom? You must consider the acoustic characteristics of the room. Is there an acoustic deficiency in your room, like a bass buildup or flutter echo? If there's a lot of flutter echo, you might want to choose a dynamic microphone, like an SM57, so that you don't capture too much of the negative room noise. Which brings us to the third step, microphone selection. When selecting your microphone, you have to consider the first two elements, the source and then the environment. What if I have a big roomy sounding open space, but I want to record an acoustic guitar for a full band rock mix? I probably want an SM57 to close mic it. I want to capture the percussive rhythmic punch of the strings, not the open room of the acoustic. If it were an acoustic pop song or a ballad, I may want a more open sound. This is an example of how environment can affect our microphone decision. Perhaps I'm recording a drum kit and I want that big zeppelin-y sound for the room. I pick a microphone with a polar pattern that worked for that decision. If I'm doing an electric guitar, I might blend a ribbon microphone with an SM57. Maybe add a room microphone or just a straight up 57 on a cab. The possibilities can be overwhelming and endless, but considering these factors makes your choices much easier. Now that you can finally make your microphone choice, now it's time for the fourth step, microphone positioning. A mic position can drastically change the way a sound source translates, but it's only after I've taken into account the other three things that I start playing with and adjusting mic positions. If at this point the microphone was the wrong choice, you just rinse and repeat the steps until you find the right fit. The best engineers in the world are able to get the results that they need without touching an EQ by using the right blend of microphone choice, positions, and room. The more that you practice, the better you'll become. But first, let's recap the four-point microphone system. The first step is identifying the source and understanding the individual characteristics of your instrument that you're recording. The next step is to consider the environment and the room that you are recording in. The third step is then selecting your microphone. Select the microphone, taking into consideration the source and the room. The fourth and final step is then adjusting the microphone positioning. If you do all of this right, I promise that you won't have to stack seven EQs on top of each other to fix a problematic sound, and your mixes will thank you for taking the time to apply these steps. I really hope that this tip helps you and finds you well. Be sure to share it if you think it could help other people. Also, subscribe to digitalrecordingschool.com. And just remember, you're one song away.